Bad day in the office for Leeds Force. How do you sum up a game like that? Well, the scoreboard doesn't lie. Um, I think I've got to give credit to uh, Leicester. The, their scouting was exceptional. Um, they negated a lot of what we, uh, we do well. They'd certainly done their homework in terms of personnel. On the back of that, you or you couple that with uh, the way we performed. Uh, we didn't really bite back. Uh, it's like a perfect storm, you know, and that's that's the result. A 60-point split is the result. Obviously good, you know, in certain circumstances like this, you get to put some of the younger guys on court, finishing there, I think, with four Leeds Becker University players and an academy player. How kind of What kind of benefit do those guys get from it? Well, they get to know what, uh, what it takes to be at this level. Uh, they get to match up with... Uh, which I, well, what I feel is one of the deepest rosters I've ever seen in this league, or if not the deepest roster, I think Leicester, you know, brought those guys in and our guys get to match up against those guys and learn or apply their trade. Certainly the young lads coming out of the academy and the students at Leeds Beckett get an opportunity to um, work hard and understand what, what it takes. Now, obviously, is it a positive or a negative? Next game out is against Leicester Riders down in Leicester. Do you take that as a good thing to get back into it? I mean, you could frame it in a number of ways. The, the most important thing is we don't let the same thing occur twice. We have to learn from our mistakes. And, um, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be grounding for us. It'll, it'll give us a, a snapshot of what our season could look like. You know, how do we improve over one week? How do we improve against the very best in the league?